Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you armed actions in Reaper. Now the idea of an armed action is basically keeping it active at all times. So you could use it multiple times. And it's most useful if we put the action in a toolbar. Let me give you a few examples. Instead of adding it to the main toolbar up here, let's right click and open up an unused toolbar instead. Although we could use the main toolbar if we prefer. And to edit it, just hit this button and let's add a few actions. Let's type in mute item. And there's an action right here that's going to toggle mute on our items. Let's choose this one. And let's give it an icon. Let's choose this one right here and save and close it. And it shows up right here. Now, obviously, we could use this button by selecting our items and then hitting it to mute or unmute those items. But that's not really very efficient. Where it's most useful for this context is to use it as an armed action. So to do that, we could just right click the button and see how it changes. That lets us know that this action is armed. So now we can just select any item. Notice the cursor changes, letting us know that an action is armed. So if I select this base item, just like that, it mutes it. Hit it again, it unmutes it. So you can quickly mute and unmute any item we select, like the guitar or my kick. And just as quickly, we can click it again to unmute those items. And to take it out of this mode, just right click the button again. And now it's no longer active. Let's try it with a few other actions. Let's add a split action. And right over here, we could split items under the mouse cursor. Let's choose this, give this an icon. Let's choose this one, save it and close it. And now it shows up right here. Now this action isn't very useful in the toolbar by itself, because it's gonna split items that are under our mouse. And we can't click this and put our cursor over here at the same time. But it's very useful for armed actions. So we can right click it to arm it and just click any way we want to split our items. If we click right here, it splits it there, or here, or here, or here, creating splits that quickly. And again, to turn it off, just right click it again. Now we could also use this for trimming the left side and right side of our items. Let's add another few actions. Type in trim item, and we could choose to trim the left edge of our item under the mouse and the right edge of our item under the mouse. Let's add these, save and close this. Now those actions and toolbars show up. So now if we want to trim the left side of our items, or you want to clean this up, just right click this button and just click right here to trim the left side of the item. Do it over here and here and here. And we do the same thing on the right side. Right click this button and it switches it from this one to this one. And if we click, it trims the right side of the items. So we can clean it up this quickly. And just right click the button again to turn it off. Now we could also use this in MIDI. Let's double click this MIDI item. And we could see right here that our notes aren't quantized. Now we could fix that overall by clicking over here. But let's say 
we just wanted to quantize some notes. We could just click on them and quantize just those. Let's right click in the toolbar, customize toolbar, hit add, and then let's search quantize notes. And right over here, we can quantize the note position to the grid. Choose it, save and close this. Now we have a toolbar button that's gonna do that right here. But instead of choosing the notes and clicking the button, we could right click the button to arm that action. So now we can just click the notes we wanna quantize. Let's choose this one and this one, maybe this one and this one. And just like that, those notes are quantized while leaving the other ones alone. And we could right click the button to unarm the action. Now we could also trigger custom actions this way. Let's create one, actions, show action list. Let's go down here and create a custom action. Let's go to our filter and type in normalize. This section over here is gonna normalize our items or bring them up as loud as possible without clipping. Now when I do this, I usually prefer to give myself some headroom. So let's bring down the volume with this action, nudge active take down 1 dB. So if you put this after this, it's going to normalize our items and bring it down 1 dB. But I like to bring it down a bit more. So let's add another. So now will bring it down 2 dB. Let's give it a name and save it. And here's that custom action. But let's add it to our toolbar. Right over here, save it and close it. And now it shows up right here. And again, we can just choose our items like this, hit that button to normalize it and bring it down 2 dB. But instead, it's a lot quicker to use armed actions. So let's do that instead. Right click it. Now this action or toolbar button is armed. Now we can just click any item we want to normalize and bring it down 2 dB. Click this one, it brings it up, then brings it down 2 dB, or this one, or this one, and so on. Going through each item we want to normalize, but bring the volume down to create headroom width. And if you don't want to right click to turn this off, we could also use the escape key. Hit escape to unarm that action. As you can see, we can get as creative with this as you want. Just about any action can be armed and triggered in this way. So that's pretty much it. That's armed actions in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.